What's up, everybody? This is Elijah with the Pi Calendar team, and today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to set up an events calendar on your site using Pi Calendar. So the only thing I've done is I've created a fresh local WordPress install, and I've gotten my file prepped, my Pi Calendar plugin file prepped to install. So I'm going to start from the very beginning and show you just how quick this is. So we'll click Install Now, let that do its thing, activate the plugin. Now we've got Pi Calendar installed. What we're going to do is we're going to pick a post like Hello World, and we're going to want to display this on the calendar. So on the right hand side here, we see calendar. We expand that, click show on calendar, set a start date. We'll pick a date in the future, like the 21st of February, and then click update. Now, where do we want to display this calendar? Well, I think I'd like to display it on my sample page. So we'll go into here and we will add a short code element drop that in and do our PyCal shortcode. Now, if we update and view page on the front end, we scroll down and what do we have? We have a fully featured front end calendar and we have our Hello World post listed on that calendar. We can click through and view more details on that post. So you can see there in less than a minute, I was able to set up the Pi Calendar plugin and get one of my posts displayed on the calendar. Now, if that's all you need, you can stop right there. You know everything you need to know to use Pi Calendar on your site. But if you want to go a bit further, I'll show you another trick you can do. So we can add a plugin called CPT UI. So we're going to search for that in the WordPress plugin repository. And we're going to go ahead and install that plugin. This is going to let us create a custom post type. So let me go ahead and activate that. And now I can go to add and edit post types here. And I'm going to call this concerts. Concerts, concert. Now there's a couple of boxes we need to tick here towards the bottom. We need to make sure that editor is enabled and we need to make sure that custom fields are enabled. Now we can click add post type. Now let's go in and add a new concert. So let's go ahead and add one called Elijah Mills playing the guitar. And we'll just add in some lorem ipsum here to pad out the content a bit. Now, over here in the concert settings, we can just tick our show on calendar box. We can pick a start date. We'll do a multi-day uh, concert here. So we'll pick the 22nd for the start date, and the end date will be the 25th. Now, we can publish that. And if we go up here to the sample page, pycaldemo.local slash sample dash page. Let's see if I can type that without typoing. Here we go. If we go up to the sample page, we're going to see not only our hello world post, but also our concert post. So that's beautiful. We now have multiple post types all being listed on the same calendar, but we might not want them all to show up. So what we can do is we can go over here and we can add an attribute to our short code. We'll do type equals concerts because we only wanna show concerts on this calendar now. Let's update that, refresh on the front end. And you can see our Hello World post on the 21st has disappeared, and now we're seeing just our concerts. 